And so that's how they're always uh, injecting this and, you know, talking about McVeigh and Elohim City and the Oklahoma City bombing, but never getting into the fact that those were staged events. Uh, here's part of Paul Watson's article, and we'll come back with the rest of the video and my analysis of it. DHS video characterizes white Americans as most likely terrorist. Big sis fear campaign continues, but Americans are just as likely to be killed by peanut allergies than they are in terrorist attacks. A new promotional video released by the Department of Homeland Security characterizes white middle class Americans as the most likely terrorist. As Big Sis continues its relentless drive, we should add some articles where they talk about white Al Qaeda, the next threat. You know, we know what this is also because of the past scripting. As Big Sis continues its re relentless drive to cement the myth that mad bombers are hiding around every corner, when in reality, Americans are just as likely to be killed by lightning strikes or peanut allergies. The video is part of a Homeland Security $10 million See Something, Say Something program that encourages Americans to report suspicious activity, which in every case throughout history has been a trait of oppressive dictatorial regimes. It's all about not trusting your fellow citizens, only trusting the big mommy government who's on record staging the terror attacks. In the course of a 10-minute clip, a myriad of different behavior and characterized as terrorism, including opposing surveillance. Oh, yeah, people that don't like being surveilled. Using a video camera, that's why cops come in your own yard and say you can't videotape them. T talking to police officers, yeah, you don't talk to the godlike government. Wearing hoodies, driving vans, uh, writing on a piece of paper, and using a cell phone recording application. And that's in manuals we got five years ago, the feds put out in the state of Texas. It said, having a cell phone, wearing blue jeans. I saw an AP article where it said, don't just trust that priest or that woman with a baby carriage. They may be the terrorists. It's about everybody's a terrorist. First, they start with the unpopular Muslims, then they move on to, 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 to blacks in America, then they move on to the whiteies. Uh, continuing uh, here, despite encouraging viewers not to pay attention to a person's race in determining whether or not they may be a terrorist, almost all the scenarios in the clip proceed to portray white people as the most likely terrorist. You know, they show like one 9-11 hijacker. Bizarrely, nearly every single one of the patriotic Americans who reports on their fellow citizens is either black, Arab, or Asian. Again, this is all heavily scripted. They decide all of this stuff beforehand. Imagine if the video had portrayed every terrorist as an Arab and every patriotic snoop is white. There'd be an outcry, and rightly so. But this strange reversal must have been deliberate on the part of the DHS. But why? Is this merely political correctness? taken to the extreme or is this something deeper at work well, we have all the training manuals i'm going to finish up with this article and then i'm going to go to, the, to a lot more of the clip but it just goes on and on and on this is everything we predicted everything we told you was going to happen we'll be right back stay with us hi this is steve shank and babs rossberg with efoods direct Babs, you work a lot with shipping and things are going absolutely nuts with this new Independence Month Patriot Pack that eFoods is giving away. The way things are going, we're shipping thousands of these great little Patriot Packs out. Just an example, Sherry from Arkansas made a $1,300 order. We shipped her five free Patriot Packs, $750 more free food. Folks are really surprised at what we're actually giving away. Now, folks, we've had 235 years of freedom in this country, so for every 230 $35 worth of food ordered, we give away a $149 Patriot Pack free. To order the best food on the planet, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. A free 12-day supply Patriot Pack with every $235 worth of food ordered. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four. 
Dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5 Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. warned of this for years that first governments throughout history get rid of the country's liberties and freedoms by going after an unpopular minority group hitler it was the jews communists stuff like that here it was the muslims the system stages the events provocateurs nutcases it's a whole grab bag of different types of provocateur terror then they build the architecture of the police state for the general public so they have white audiences where they say, we're going after the brown people. Then they go to the brown audiences and they say, we're going after the white people. And that's what this nearly 10-minute Department of Homeland Security video does. But it's worse than that. We have all the different training manuals sent to us by police and military over the years that we've published and have made national news. Homeland Security, my act, the list goes on and on. And in the training, over 90% is for what? Remember a few years ago, veterans seen as the number one terror threat returning home? Remember a few months ago, okay, finally Congress voted for health care for the military, police, and fire veterans in 9-11, but you got to go through a terror database every time you get your health care? They're setting that precedent. Ron Paul supporters, Bob Barr supporters, people that like America, freedom to fascism, uh, people that like Alex Jones, this is in the different manuals. And then they say these groups are connected to racism. So they make it about being white by saying, oh, they're connected to white supremacists when there's no connection. Meanwhile, Hal Turner, one of the top Nazis, it turns out, in federal court, high-level FBI operative for decades, working, of course, with Sean Hannity. Um, that came out. Just look up Hal Turner, Sean Hannity. Very bizarre. These people are operatives. By the way, that's in the news today that they ran black op intelligence systems, London uh, Telegraph reports, uh, that News Corps... Um, its division in England was running black op intelligence operations, and their reporters were basically uh, private contractor agents working with MI6. Of course they are, ladies and gentlemen. What, you know about Operation Mockingbird here in the United States? I mean, we're in deep, 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 deep trouble. And so they branded the war on terror with, we're taking the rights away, but we're only going to enforce it on the evil Muslims, in quotes. Now it's, oh my gosh, the white Al-Qaeda. And in every one of the scenarios, except one in a 10-minute video, it's, quote, minorities, Asians, blacks, Hispanics, reporting on the evil whites. And uh, it just goes on and on and on. Despite encouraging viewers not to pay attention to the person's race and determining whether or not they may be a terrorist, almost all the scenarios in the clip proceed to portray white people as the most likely terrorists. Bizarrely, nearly every single one of the patriotic Americans who reports on their fellow citizens is either black, Asian, or Arab. Imagine if the video portrayed every terrorist as an Arab and every patriotic snoop as white. There'd be an outcry, and rightly so. But this strange reversal must have been deliberate on the part of the DHS. But why? 
is this merely political correctness taken to an extreme, or is it something deeper at work? And then he goes with the proof that it's absolutely what's been going on behind the scenes. So they're now shifting it on the American people. DHS checkpoints, Homeland Security, uh, TSA running wild. This is the total takeover. And it's meant to make all of us not trust each other and divide and conquer and only trust the nanny state. Don't trust other Walmart shoppers. The telescreens say only trust Big Sis, who, of course, helped get the underwear bomber on the plane on record and who helped ship the guns into Mexico and to blame the Second Amendment. But she's good, though. Continuing here, um, this has to do with the color of a person's skin and everything to do. This has little to do with the color of a person's skin and everything to do with the fact that white middle-class Americans are the biggest roadblock when it comes to big cis expanding its control over every facet of society. Well, now they're just tackling the big egg. It's plain to see that very little of... The budget for this video went towards paying for decent actors, but perhaps it's fitting that the participants were about as believable as Santa and his elves. Because the notion that terrorists are hovering around every underground parking lot waiting to blow up federal buildings is demonstrably false. Actually, when Jane Graham up in the HUD building saw McVeigh and other feds planting bombs and warn people, they didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> in Oklahoma City. As Ohio University John Mueller has documented, the likelihood of actually being a victim of terrorism is infinitesimally small and only highlights how much threats are hyperbolically exaggerated for political purposes. Figures collected by Mueller clearly show that Americans are just as likely to be killed by lightning strikes, accidents, uh, by running into deer, or severe allergic reactions to peanuts. But the facts don't matter for a federal agency whose primary function is to manufacture fear, as former head of Homeland Security Governor Ridge admitted that he was ordered to do. See, we have all the facts here. Uh, to keep Americans under control and submissive to the fact that their economic futures and their constitutional rights are being torn to shreds by their own government while it points to a contrived outside threat as a convenient distraction. At its core, the video was filled with scenes of ordinary citizens spying on each other and alerting the authorities to their compatriots. Suspicious deeds, writes Simon Black. In my favorite scene, a woman calls the police after snooping over the shoulder of a young man typing away on his smartphone. Black notes that such videos are solely aimed at reinforcing ignorance, hate, and fear for those who still live in darkness and are completely unaware of the real agenda behind Homeland Security's See Something, Say Something charade. By the way, I'm going to call Watson during the break and during that part about the feds issuing terror alerts to create artificial fear and make you love them and not love your neighbor. I'm going to have him add a link to Ridge admitting that. I think we need to even document that more for folks. No matter where you look, from East Germany to Communist Russia to Nazi Germany, historically governments who encourage their own citizens to report on each other do so not out of a genuine safety concerns or presume benefits to security, but in order to create an authoritarian police state that coerces the people into policing each other's behavior and thoughts, and to create a big chilling effect as well. I better not speak out about freedom. You know, my, uh, my neighbor will call Homeland Security on me. Well, let them. They're the terrorists anyways. Let's just get it out in the open. We all know you blew up the towers, you murdering military-industrial complex banker-owned scum. As Robert... Jelanti of Florida State University has highlighted Germans under Hitler denounced their neighbors and friends not because they genuinely believed them to be a security threat, but because they expected to selfishly benefit from doing so, both financially and socially and psychologically, via a Pavlovian need to be rewarded by their masters for their obedience. And that's how now you hear ads about report if your boss is pirating software. Report if your neighbor's spanking their kid was not even legal. Uh, report people uh, who are homeschooling. All of this is about getting social reward or feeling like you've been patted on the head. In fact, I didn't get into it, but will you guys repull the study from yesterday? Big international and major U.S. university uh, study in concert that found that people will say a barn door is blue if authority figures tell them it's blue, even if the barn door is red. And uh, that's what uh, you know, they have different TV shows illustrating this, how peer pressure works. And so people relish calling and tattling on their neighbors. They get a thrill like the authority loves them. Any free society abhors 
telling on somebody even if what somebody's doing is wrong. In the old days, you would just take care of it yourself. I mean, you know, only the very worst stuff would be reported because people knew how dangerous a snitch society was. And uh, it goes on uh, through the rest of this. I mean, this is just classical tyranny. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting into the rest of the video as I analyze it here. PrisonPlanet.tv viewers can see it, but uh, we're here critiquing uh, this taxpayer paid for uh, propaganda. We have the video posted up at InfoWars.com in our articles. Uh, let, let's continue. Uh, you got the black guy calling in the evil white people, uh, and then it cuts to a bunch of shots of news articles of white terrorists in every case, mentally ill provocateurs.